uh, Josh Masters here with Master Spencer. I'm going to take you for a walkthrough of a si uh, six foot tall, or actually seven, a little bit over six feet, about seven feet tall, cap and trim, uh, board on board style, wooden privacy fence. Uh, here we install six by six posts, uh, overlap their pickets. Here we uh, put a two by six for the top of the trim. And then we put our pickets up to the top of it, cut accordingly, following the flow of the property. As you see here, the panel step down. If you see how the property has a slope, slopes down, um, the cap and trim looks a lot better if you can stay straight with your panel. And so, this step panels all the way down through. We have a four foot wide or five foot wide wall gate right here, custom built. Boxed out. I put uh, three and a half inch screws at each point of con contact. I did a 45 degree angle cut here. Did adjacent braces, toe milling, three and a half inch screws. Uh, doubled it up right here to extra add support. Uh, also did one down through there. I made sure that the, the angles were facing down at the gate. Here we'll get a look of it on the back side. Also uh, here on the six by six, this will show how I ran the rails. Ran the rails on the back side of that six by six. So when I came in the front with a board on board style, actually I came in about a half an inch. So when I lined the board on board style out with the front, it would align. Uh, it would align evenly with the front accordingly. You know, it would center out in the middle. And so we ran the rails all the way through. Uh, here, step the panels on down. We'll take a look over here on the back side too. Then. Step the panels down and on the back side, we get left, and they turn out really beautiful. Here, we get a good shot on them right here. So, same principle, but on the back line, here we did stockade style. Uh, you know, ran the rails on the inside, and also used a 2x4 for the trim right here, because we ran 4x4 for the post here. Uh, then it, Lattice on top of that had that entire structure built five foot for the panel, and then we capped it off here with a top trim. And of course, got the caps on the top through here. Each post is also concreted, used about 20 to 30 pounds on each, packed it down really tight. Then we put dirt on top of that, then about the top six inch, uh, six inches we put dirt on top of it, packed it down, make sure grass could grow back. Here we cornered it back out. It's kind of like an octagon shape for their pool area. Here we're coming back to the octagon. And we have another uh, four foot wide walk here, access gate on the back side. Very simple to operate. Thumb latch. Pop it up like that and out some tops. And then on the front side, uh, which I'll show you here in a second, we just push down. Here we come on through here. Cats turn out really nice. Uh, this one's actually going to be uh, painted, so they're going to be painting it another color. And here, step the panels on up. Uh, on that front return, as you see, we use brackets to kind of give a little bit of character. Here, we'll come around the other side here, take a look at this thumb latch. So, thumb latch. Uh, it's real simple to operate, just like that. Boom. That locks right in there. I have to get some wood glue for that, make sure. Looks good, yeah. And then right here for the hardware, the hinges here, uh, I used uh, lag bolts, you know, about as thick as your thumb, nice and secure, you know, and that's uh, coming through there, step the panels up. We'll take a look here on the outside. Here I also extended that uh, six by six above the two by six. On each panel, about uh, three and a half inches above the panel right next to it, that brought it up to the next one accordingly. You know, leveled out. And uh, from myself and everyone here at Masters Fencing, we thank you for installing with us and just give me a call if you would like to uh, get a quote on something like this or any of the other mini fences that we have featured.